So here I'm gonna be showing you how to create a digital business card. It's very easy to do. And if you'd like to follow along to get fast access, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment. They do come with the ability to use them for free. And of course, if you want a few more perks, you can upgrade as well. And just to kind of show you here, as you can see, free forever. I love how easy and simple it is to set up. You get two digital business cards. And of course, if you wanted to upgrade, the prices are pretty good when it comes to getting more perks. Let's dive right in. All right, so here we are on the inside. So easy to do. We have cards. You can also do email signatures, virtual backgrounds, and some accessories. But let's create our digital business card. Let's click on create cards. But let's create our digital business card. Let's click on the top right right here and do single card. All right, so you can use a template if you wanna go a little bit quicker, but let's just kinda of go through and showcase how it works. Let's say we wanna add a company logo. I'm gonna click right here. And here I'm just gonna click on the pencil so we can add in our company logo. Perfect, there's gonna be the logo. Let's click on save. Same thing with our profile picture. I'm gonna add a picture. Let's drag and drop our image into here or just simply browse. All right, and there I am. As you can see, it's gonna be a little bit uh, zoomed out. We wanna make it a little bit bigger and then we can move it. So let's do something like that. A little bit smaller and perfect. Let's click on save. We can also change around the cover photo, but I'm gonna keep it like that. You can choose a theme and given the fact I am tropical, I will change it after just to showcase what it's gonna look like. Now you're gonna see we have tons of fields that we can utilize here. So we have James. Let's put cans, we'll make it quick. You can have prefix, you can lock some edits. There's a lot of like little extra features that you can utilize here. We have our job title, I like saying uh, CEO and janitor at Marketing Island. Might as well add in diaper changer as well. So that's gonna be our title. A uh, department, company name. I probably wouldn't put company name if I already had it up there previously. So that can stay email, that's gonna be an important one. So we could see uh, James at marketingisle.com. And we can just do something like, you know, email. You can do work, you can do personal, something like that. Probably just like uh, business email, something like that. You can do save. As we scroll down, you're gonna see a little bit more. Company URL, link, address. Let's say we wanna do this one. And for the title, you can do something like visit our website or you can just do this so you know they know it's gonna be a website. I think that looks fine that way. We also have some of our social accounts. Let's say YouTube's gonna be a big one. Let me add this in. All right, so I'm gonna paste that in there and we can just do something like subscribe to my YouTube channel, something like that. Or you can just do marketing on. We know that's gonna be YouTube. We can click on save. And going through, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but they have a lot of social media aspects there. There's GitHub and Calendly, which is fantastic if you say wanna maybe get a consultation going or get clients. And there's even payment aspects here for like PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. So not only is it a digital business card for networking, but maybe if someone maybe wants to purchase something from you, they can have them send you money through PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's gonna be that section. And I talked about here with the different colors, if we change this around, I think that's gonna be perfect. It's more geared towards the tropical vibe that I am going to be utilizing. Let me just assign this to an address. Okay, so that's gonna be assigned to that address. So you can do it for you or someone else if needed. We can change around the layout, but I think that looks fine. As you're gonna see, very straightforward and even better, if we go right here to the QR code, we can display our logo right here as well. Let's just go back and use our company logo. And you're see, gonna see that it's gonna be right in the middle as well. So not only do you have your digital business card, you also have a way that people can scan this and get to it as well. Here's gonna be the card view. Let's simply click on create. All right, so as you can see, this is going to be our card right here. Pretty straightforward. I didn't add a lot of fields in there, although you can add as many as you want. We have our QR code. This is going to be where someone can scan it. Keep in mind that I'm just going to delete this since it's an example, so scanning it isn't going to work, but it does work. There's also the share ability, so if you ever just wanna like share the link, you can do that. You have your QR code, which you can download, and of course, you can always share via email or LinkedIn. Speaking of sharing, something that's also great about this, I just wanna showcase very quickly, there's email signatures and virtual backgrounds, and once you create your business card, these are pretty much almost done for you, and I will show you. And as you can see here, when you go to create an email signature, you can just use it based off the information that you just created in your card. So just like that, you're almost done, right? You just wanna change around a few things here. We can click on next. And then for this, like if it's gonna be a signature, you probably don't need your email since it's already there. Or your, like your website would be fine, but you can also add some details, change it around. And 
And here you just do create signature and of course you can embed it when you are sending your emails and so on and so forth. So I did just want to show you that as well. You can do the same thing with a background. You're just utilizing the digital business card that you already created and you can use it in a variety of ways to help you just network even more. So a very quick tutorial, but that is how you can create a digital business card using Blink. I highly recommend that you check them out, especially for the fact that you can use them for free as I showcased in this video. And of course they do have some nice bells and whistles if you do want to upgrade and the pricing is pretty friendly if you ask me if you want to go that route. My name is James, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy creating your digital business card.